What happens when you mix in garbage marketing with a garbage power supply? Well, you get the Game Max VP650. Now, I was alerted to this power supply by a couple of viewers in Australia who sent me the link for this ad and they said, look, Brian, you've got to check out this power supply. It's 650 watts, it's coming in with a good price and it's shipped free to your door. You can buy a heap of these and put them in gaming PCs and you've got yourself potentially a new meta for giving people the best value. And as soon as I saw the power supply ad, I was actually very worried and concerned. And the first thing that rings alarm bells is when you look at the power rating of this power supply. They're saying it's a 650 watt, yet then they're saying on the 12 volt rail, that's the most important rail, by the way, for giving your uh, things like CPU and GPU power. When I saw this rating, I was like 34 amps. That does not really equal a 650 watt power supply. And then there's further things in this ad that really disturb me. They were using the capital W after the 650, meaning they're saying that this is a true 650 watt power supply. Then after that, they're saying that this is certified in Australia by regulatory commissions for being in safe and use. So let's dig further in depth to this story about why you should seriously consider avoiding a power supply like this 650 watt right here and getting, if you're on a budget, something like this in my hands. Today's video is brought to you by Intel, Aorus, and PLE Computers, bringing you ready-to-go custom gaming PCs that are ready to collect within an hour of purchasing, are powered by an Intel 10th Gen Core i7 processor, and have a two-year warranty. Links in the description below to find out more. So before we even turn on the Game Max VP650, we can see some things that are even a little bit disturbing just by looking at this sticker right here. The first thing is this 12 volt rail right here. It's saying that its max current is 34 amps, then they're saying that the max power is 469 watts. That is not how you do conversions from amps and voltages into watts. You generally just times this 12 number here by the amps and you'll get the watts. So they're even misrepresenting the power supply on the sticker label, which apparently got approved by all these different organizations right here. And even in Australia, the ESSS Regulatory Commission, which after seeing all these approval certifications here, I am a little bit worried as to if these boards here are doing their job properly and approving this stuff here. Because if I was in one of these boards, I would not approve this power supply right here, just based off the fact that they're not even representing the product properly to begin with. The second thing is here, when I look at the advert, this is 80 plus bronze where they've rated it at. Yet, when I look on the actual ad itself, it says it's only been rated for 80 plus. So the bronze thing is a manual efficiency rating, which they've slapped on and they haven't even had it certified properly. They're just saying it's 80 plus bronze, but we'll find out that very soon when we test it on an RTX 3070 gaming PC to see the efficiency versus something like this MWE450 right here, which is 80 plus certified. They're not marketing it as 80 plus bronze because it hasn't been properly certified for that. So I am a little bit worried that perhaps these certifications here aren't actually true certifications. They're just popping them on the sticker and saying that they have had them certified, which does make me wonder how this stuff is even sold in a place like Australia where I'm currently living to begin with. So if you wanna see how bad a power supply is to begin with, you can just quickly simply check the weight of the power supply. A really cheap power supply is going to have cheap components and hence it's actually gonna be pretty lightweight. So you see here, this power supply weighs in at just over one kilogram. And if we put something like the MWE 450 watt on the scales, we can see that that is coming in at 1260 grams. So a 450 watt power supply is weighing more, considerably more than a so-called 650 watt power supply. The next thing we're gonna do is compare the cables and the actual uh, thickness of the cables themselves and how many cables you actually get. Now, you may be wondering straight away, why am I comparing a 450 watt MWE from Cooler Master to the Game Max VP650 right here? And the main reason is, is that they're actually a very similar price. In Australia, this right here, you can get this for $59. It's in stock. This one right here is $64.60. If you buy more than four or four or more, you can get it for as low as $60 shipped. So the prices are very similar but the quality is certainly not. 
where we look at the actual gauge used on these uh, wires right here for the game max not only they're using ketchup and mustard cables which is generally considered the cheapest form of cabling on a power supply nowadays they're actually only giving you one pcie 8 pin connector as well as the cpu 8 pin here does feel very flimsy and cheap so i wouldn't be using this on any cpu with a uh, rated tdp of higher than 100 watts that's just me personally and then we've got this right here i've had to add in my own 8 pin pcie connector because we're going to be doing some testing later on with this power supply on the rtx 3070 um, i7 pc now we've got right here the mwe has a 24 pin it's also got two 8 pin pcie connectors and an 8 pin cpu connector which actually splits into two separate four pins and so we can see the differences already before we even boot up a gaming pc using either of these power supplies you're getting pretty much everything more on a cheaper and lower rated or should i say quotation marks lower rated power supply than you are with this vp650 now one more thing that is concerning about this game max power supply is that there's no documentation of warranty on the box at all with the mwe 450 watt they're saying on the box three year warranty so there's no mention of warranty on the original ad they do say 12 months which i'm going to tell you guys straight up if you're only getting 12 month warranty on your power supplies i'd be very concerned about the components that they're putting in them so we've now got cyberpunk 2077 booted up and our gpu is around 100 percent utilization which is exactly what we want and we're going to now monitor the wall reading here which is what the whole computer is plugged off of and we see that this is using up close to around 440 watts and it's not essentially um, cutting out which is a good thing and i guess if you're playing any games and your power supply starts cutting out after a few minutes of playing the game i would seriously just stop everything and definitely change the power supply around for something better and test that out first but we're going to now test this game for around a good half an hour just to make sure it can pass at least the initial test of the power supply being able to deliver solid power now one thing you'll notice too is when we did this test originally in another video with this whole giveaway pc i'll put the link just up here the gold rate of power supply was using around 390 watts so it is saving you around 50 watts while you're gaming by going with a more i guess efficient power supply but at least this 450 watt power supply right here is doing the job also we'll find out after we play for a little while So we now got the VP650 on the test bench here and I don't have another Molex connector to hook up the RGB fans here. So we're gonna have to leave them off for this test. But the MWE over there, that passed with flying colors. It was absolutely fine playing Cyberpunk. Nothing was out of the ordinary, nothing glitched or there was no hiccups at all. But let's see how this thing goes with playing Cyberpunk for around half an hour. So I just went upstairs to get a cup of tea and we're going to turn this power supply off now because even though it's technically past our test here, 
coming down the stairs with my cup of tea, I could smell a bad smell coming from this thing. And if that's the thing, if you smell something weird coming from your computer, regardless of even if you've got the best components in there, you should turn things off straight away just to uh, check things out. Though, another thing about this power supply is, which is concerning, is it's making a pretty annoying coil wind sound and the power consumption is now over 500 watts from the wall and we're running three less RGB fans than a controller than the previous scenario. So this thing here is not even 70% efficiency. So that 80 plus bronze rating you see there is absolute lies. It's not even real. But let's move over now to a conclusion with the VP650. So after all these tests, we're coming back now with a clear verdict. And that is that these 650 watt power supplies from GameMax, these VP650s, are not 80 plus bronze, and they're not a true 650 watt power supply. To the point where this thing was losing out to a 450 watt power supply that is cheaper and weighs more and has better cabling. This thing right here was a big letdown, and I'm just surprised at a few things. The first thing is I'm surprised that apparently it got these certifications, but after seeing the 80 plus bronze here, I think that is a fake certification where they actually never got that. They're just printing it on the label here, which does make it false advertising at the very least. So this thing should not even be sold on Australian shelves because it hasn't passed the proper testing, or at least the testing that I'm doing here where we can see that our build, our RTX 3070 build, was really, I mean, this build would probably use around 360 watts true wattage from the wall, yet this thing's going over 500 watts when it comes to actually playing Cyberpunk 2077. So if I had to estimate efficiency, it would be under 70%, which is terrible for a few things. The first being, you're gonna be using more power than you should, and then the second thing is you're actually generating more heat in the power supply because it's less efficient. It's then gonna be dumping that heat within the power supply itself and then pushing it out the back. Hence why this power supply was getting a lot warmer than the other two power supplies that I've tested with this RTX 3070 build. Though the thing that bothers me the most about this VP650 right here is the fact that they're advertising it as a 650 watt power supply when it's not capable of doing anywhere near that in terms of its true uh, rating limit. Now, if you take, for instance, a guy getting into PC building, they've seen the guides out there from guys like me and other tech channels, and they see, oh wow, it's pretty easy and straightforward to build your first PC. And don't get me wrong, it is. But then they see the guides and then they think, okay, I'm gonna go out and buy a 650 watt power supply that NVIDIA have recommended I get when I get an RTX 3070. And so they see something like this, which in Australia, it's sold over 270 just off one listing, 270 items, and they think, oh, this power supply is pretty good. It's sold a lot of copies and uh, looks like it's good on the spec sheet. But then they put it in their build and then after a week, their whole system starts shutting off and they smell these weird smells coming out and they're wondering what's going on with this first PC that I built. And the reason is, is they've been duped by crap marketing like this right here, VP650, and 80 plus bronze, and it's anything but that. And so what we saw here today, even after playing after half an hour on Cyberpunk, there was weird noises coming out of this power supply, and there was also a weird smell coming out. And this was only still using under a true 400 watts for the whole build, which was very concerning. Though coming out of this, I do apologize if I've got a negative tone in today's video. I'm usually a positive guy here at Tech Yes City, and I'm usually bringing that energy. But after being in the PC building game for over 20 years, the fact that this stuff still continues to go on just really makes me scratch my head. It's not the fact that these companies sell this crap, it's the fact that 200, over 270 people have bought this off of one listing. And it just continues to go on. This false advertising and these potential, and I say this, I don't say this as a joke, I mean this seriously, these potential fire hazards, people are putting them in their high-end rigs. And if you put this in with an RTX 3070, you are going to have problems sooner or later, whether it's probably gonna be sooner than later. But the problem is, is that if you do have those problems, 
it can potentially lead to even worse things like damaging your equipment. Because if something like this goes out and causes a spike through your whole system, it could damage your CPU, it could damage your graphics card, causing you even more financial ruin, plus the fact that you could get sick off of the fumes that are coming out of this thing when it's being overworked. So ultimately something like this, I'd like to see it being rated at its true rating, and that is I think it's a 350 watt power supply. And I mean, sure, it's going to probably be okay for most uh, GTX 1050 Ti's and 1060 builds, but even then, if this thing is costing more than this right here, for me, it's a no brainer that you should go with something like this, which actually has a three year warranty and is a true 450 watt power supply. So this video right here, hopefully it's served as a good PSA and I'm probably just gonna keep making these videos the more I see this crap because the more people that get educated about these terrible power supplies that are being sold for good money, the better off we're gonna be when people stop using them in general. And the fact that, I mean, maybe PC resellers are putting these in builds too, that does concern me a lot. Being that someone unsuspecting who doesn't know much about PC building gets a PC with this in it, they could be certainly bound for some more problems than they could handle. Another thing is the Game Max, directly speaking to you guys, stop doing this. You, you've got a half decent reputation, at least in the cases that people are using. People use Game Max cases here. I know them locally and they say, hey, the Game Max cases are okay, they're good value. But this right here is not good value, it's misleading. Please stop doing it. You guys are better than this. Just stop. And with all that aside, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to share it around if someone's in the market for a power supply and they don't know much about power supplies. This video can hopefully serve as a good warning for people buying their first power supplies and at least reading through all the garbage marketing and all the false advertising that goes on in this industry. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon, just after this question of the day here which comes from Futari Shiefu and they ask, great video and thank you for doing the giveaway. I use different emails for YouTube and Gleam. Wonder if that would invalidate my entry if I get picked. And they're talking about our RTX 3070 giveaway PC, which we did in the previous video. I'll put the link up here. But one thing is I do now, and I'm gonna keep doing with giveaways, is I'm going to just in the video um, point out how you guys can actually win the giveaway rather than people just clicking on the video entering the giveaway and stuff like that. So with that video, if you drop a comment, what I'm gonna do is if you get picked as the winner, I'm then gonna go ask you to reply to your own comment in that video to validate that that's you. And then you will be the winner of the RTX 3070 gaming PC. So it doesn't matter if you have a different comment based on your email that you've entered the giveaway with, what matters is that you've actually commented, like I said to do on the video, and you don't have to use any code. So that was just something that I did to throw people off who <laughs> didn't watch the content. Anyway, hope that answers that question and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.